11 kilometers of excavation of the Jozilla tunnel has been completed, that will provide a year-round and all-weather access to Ladakh, enabling hidden troop and equipment movement shielded from enemy surveillance. Nepal has cautioned that Pakistan-based terror groups are looking to exploit its geography and 1,770 kilometers long border with India, to launch terror attacks on India. 66 villages along the India-Myanmar border have been selected under the center's Vibrant Villages program for development, with a focus on roads, telecom, electricity, livelihoods and skill development. India has joined exercise Talisman Sabre, which is Australia's largest ever multinational military drill currently underway with 35,000 troops from 19 countries. Pakistan Air Force is reassessing plans to convert its global 6000 jet into a Havasaj electronic warfare platform in partnership with Turkey, after the long-range 40 and 6 missile of S-400 air defense system successfully destroyed a Saab 2000 AWACS over, over Pakistani territory. Turkish media has criticized India's Akash missile, saying that it flopped in Brazil, and claiming that it is outdated, which reflects Turkey's discomfort with India's growing defense exports. India's MKU Limited has clinched a multi-year contract to deliver over 2 lakh Cavro ballistic helmets to a Southeast Asian country. The FBI has arrested a wanted Khalistani terrorist in the US with seven others. After Armenia, India is all set to export the Swati weapon locating radar to another country. Airbus Spain has delivered the 15th C-295 transport aircraft to the Indian Air Force. Hindustan Aeronautics has placed a 6,000 crore rupees order for the supply of super alloy with the Midani Group, that will be used in AL-31 engines for the Su-30 aircraft. The DRDO aims to raise the indigenous content of the ATAGS based 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system from existing 85% to 95% in its second prototype, by replacing imported electronics and components with Indian alternatives. General Electric has delivered the second F404 engine for the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet program, and has promised to deliver 12 engines by the end of March 2026. The Indian Air Force and General Electric are planning to establish a local maintenance partner for F-404 engine overhauls, as India has already ordered 99 engines for 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters, with an additional 130 engines are needed for the upcoming batch of 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighters, and the growing Mark 1A fleet size demands a steady engine supply. The DRDO is planning to upgrade the current gallium arsenide-based Acer Seeker of the Astra Mark III, to a more advanced gallium nitride-based Acer Seeker variant for production models, that offers improved jamming resistance, thermal tolerance, and power efficiency, that is crucial for contested airspace. The DRDO has successfully test-fired the 1,500 km range extended trajectory long-duration hypersonic cruise missile under Project Vishnu, and reports indicate that the missile achieved a hypersonic speed of over Mach 8. The missile is powered by a scramjet engine, carries 2,000 kg warhead, and is designed for low-altitude flight, mid-course maneuverability and radar evasion. The successful missile test places India among a select group of nations developing indigenous hypersonic cruise missiles, that includes US, Russia and China, and it gives the capability to destroy every single Pakistani airbase in an average time of less than 5 minutes. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.